so hard. I feel like I'm working for myself. And so I think that's an easier space to be happy creating. So it's like a uniquely Southern cut of me, but it's also a uniquely capitalist cut of me. <laughs> but I mean, it's commenting on this commodification of food and how like the distance that we have from our food, right? And how, you know, like I was saying, it's the only meal where you have 10 different animals on your plate, right? I mean, chickens only have two arms, so at best, you've got maybe five animals, but most likely it's coming from a completely different chicken. These chickens that are raised for a short period of time, right, and killed and then 10 of them wind up on your plate and it's so normal. The chicken wing bone is also commenting on like the cut of the cut of meat in general and why that's prevalent in our society. Who historically does the cooking in the South? You know, why these cuts of meat become ingrained in our food culture, like you know, oxtail or rib tips or chicken wing bones, right? It's like commenting on race and race relations over history in America. This is part of, part of your like urban fabric, part of like litter, throwaway culture. Mm. It's just like so many elements to it. And then there's something kind of like surreal of putting it all in this canvas with a solid color. You're able to like look at it differently, you know, because there is one, two, three, four, five, you know, 20 animals represented in one painting. And I think when we consume the food like that, we don't think about that at all, which is like kind of the problem. It's like a social thing. You've got this like, you know, it's a finger food, I guess you could call it. It's a bar food in Atlanta. Bar culture is our food culture, you know. Places have these kind of iconic foods and Atlanta, whether people realize it or not, is like tied to the chicken. Like, you know, like transcends class, it transcends race and culture and identity. And yet it's so wrapped up in all of that historically.